hello and welcome to another episode of saturday stillness guys it's um it's time to read god's word pray and worship him because he's good um i'm in a different location because i really do these on saturdays and i am at a worship conference which just has me completely undone but um let's get into the word dear heavenly father i thank you so much for your love and your peace your grace and your mercy um bless your word to do what it needs to do in our lives that will really take it and say this word is for me how do i line up with your will and your way and um how do i walk out holiness according to your your word in jesus name amen all right let's get into this word guy james chapter 5 come now you rich weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten your gold and silver are corroded and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will eat your flesh like fire you have heaped up treasure in the last days indeed the wages of laborers who mowed your fields which you kept back by fraud cry out and the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the lord of seboeth you have lived on the earth in pleasure and luxury and have fattened your hearts as in the days of slaughter you have condemned you have murdered the just he does not resist you Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the earthly and latter rain. You also be patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering, and be patient indeed. We count them blessed who endured. You have heard of the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brethren, do not swear by heaven or by any oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Meeting specific needs. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone among you cheerful let him sing psalms is anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let him pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven confess your trespasses to one another and pray for those Pray for one another that ye may be healed the effective fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. So God, I thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for your word that is convicting, that just reminds us to keep our eyes focused on you, God. If there is anything that is not like you, Father, I pray right now that you take it out. Take it out of my heart. Take it out of my brother's and sister's heart. God, you said to confess to each other. So I pray that everyone watching this will be able to find a brother or a sister that they can confess to so that they can receive healing. You said confess to you for forgiveness. And I thank you that we will be to speak those things that we have done that are not like you so that we can receive forgiveness and that healing will be able to take place so that our brother and sister can hear what has happened and cover us with your love i thank you that you said there are those who can restore us back to faith when we have turned away so father anyone who is on here listening that maybe has turned away from faith i pray that this reading of scripture will turn them back to you i pray that um Whatever it is, 
I just pray that this is a deposit that will have people turn back to you in the time that we need you. I pray that we will wear this world like a loose garment, that this world and the things of it will mean absolutely nothing to us if you are not in it. What are riches, Lord God? What is luxury? What is all the things that we store up if you're not in it, if the love of the Father is not inside of us? What are these things if you're nowhere in it? They are nothing. So I pray, Father, today that we will receive that revelation. We will receive our need to just depend on you, to trust in you, to put our hope in you, that you are our anchor, that you are the great and mighty God. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You stand out of time and not in time because you created time. And from out of time is how you operate in our lives. <clears throat> I thank you that there is no other God like you. They're all dead. All the other gods, they don't, ex they're not, e what are they? They're not living. We serve the true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We bless you. We praise you. We lift you up. And God, let this word go to our hearts and convict us to just live how you want us to live, to be your children, how you want us to be your children. I pray that everyone who's watching this will draw close to you because your word says that you will draw close to us. We learned that last week. So, Father, draw near to us because we're drawing near to you and we don't want to just come with requests and have these transactional prayers that we're just asking for things that we want because we want them but that we're really drawing near to you to have a relationship with you to have fellowship with you to really have you be our god and then our our king but also be our friend so I thank you, God. Thank you so much for being so good. Thank you so much for being merciful. Thank you so much for showing us our need of you. God, let us cry out to you. Let us not just set our faces still and make you a checklist, but let us really have um, an encounter with you that carries on day by day. At the conference that I'm at, um, they talked about, you know that you really experienced God if you go away and you're changed after that. It's not, we just had a moment. So Father, I pray that everyone watching this will go away changed. We'll hear the word and that it will plant in our hearts and we'll go away changed. We won't be the same. We've experienced your word. We've heard your word, God, and we wanna be changed, Our change our hearts. I mean, there's so many different reasons that we could pray, but God, we just want you. You are you are it. I pray that anyone who doesn't realize that you are the reward, I pray that you open up our awareness that everything that we've been searching for is in you because you are the fullness of everything. So God, fulfill our heart's desires in the sense that we look for you and we're fulfilled. I rejoice in you today. I lift you up. I praise you. I magnify you. And God, the, the prayer requests um, that we received, I thank you, God, for um, mending families. I thank you that husbands and wives are turning to you, that they are looking to you to fulfill them. They are looking to you to repair them. You said you're the mender of broken hearts. So I thank you for going and mending broken hearts, God. I thank you that any idols that we may have put in place in our lives you're tearing them down and that we are coming back to you we're turning our families over to you we're turning our husbands and our wives and our children's and our nephews and nieces and sisters and brothers and everyone in our life of significance we're turning them over to you god i pray that we love you above anything and everything god i I just want you. I'm so undone. I just want you, God. And so I pray anyone listening to this, that is our prayer. We just want you. It's not about the things. The things come because we seek you, but you are what we're looking for. So reveal yourself and show yourself strong in our life, I pray. In your son Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. Okay, at this time, I'm going to do a quick little worship because I got to get back in this conference, guys. But I'm, lead us in a little, little bit of worship right now. Um, my voice is gone, as you can tell. But um, 
at this time, pray for someone. Like I always say, we're going to focus this time on God and lifting him up. You don't have to sing the song that I sing, but I'm actually going to say, instead of praying for someone else this week, go ahead and lift God up. Sing your own song, whatever it is that he's put in your heart. If he paid for you to get your car fixed, God, you are the payer of my bills. If it's that you, you woke me up this morning, God, you are the waker upper. Whatever it is, and it seems so funny, but he's he's everything. So at this time, make that song to the Lord. Um, drop your prayer, prayer request down below or send it to my DM on Instagram at Alyssa Simone is. But let's go ahead and lift up God, worship him because he's good, right? <laughs> oh, my father, my father. Your baby is singing. We'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. My father, my father, your baby is singing. We'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. My painter, my painter, your painting is singing. We'll be singing and dancing, shouting for the rest of eternity. My maker, my maker, your creation is singing. We'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. And we'll be crying, oh, holy. We'll be crying, holy. And we'll be saying, Worthy is the Lamb. We'll be crying, worthy. Oh, we'll be crying, worthy. We'll be crying, worthy. Yeah, yeah. Worthy is the Lamb. For you worthy to receive glory. You're worthy to receive honor. You're worthy to receive all my praise. All my praise. Because you lifted. You lifted me up and I'll be lifting, lifting you up. You've blessed me, you've blessed me, oh God. So my heart will bless you, bless you, oh God. And I will be still. And know that you are God. Yes, I will be still. And know that you are God.